the 104th edition of the Michigan Wolverines football team and for the 48th consecutive time at home better than 100,000 fans at Michigan Stadium hello everybody I'm Ray Lane along with Jim Brandstetter and Jimmy the Michigan Wolverines are out to do it again in 1983 but now Michigan starts this ball game at least the season without their number one quarterback that's the biggest key for the Michigan Wolverines today Steve Smith who injured his shoulder in the Rose Bowl last January 1st Don Rogers popped it out in a shoulder separation. He re-injured in an early fall drills. He has not been able to come back well enough to play. So David Hall will get the start at quarterback for Michigan today. And that does a lot of interesting things because Michigan probably won't run the option as much. And they'll be back to a power football team, power eye, where the quarterback just hands off. But he's not that big a part of an offense. We'll see more drop back passing. First and 10 for Michigan from the 47. And on a sweep, and we'll see a lot of that. Carey Smith with the first carry out of Grand Rapids, picking up lots of yardage just shy of a first down. At the 36 yard line of Washington State. And Hall with his first pass of the afternoon, complete at the 30 yard line. Tight end, Sims Nelson making that one. Again, short yardage with the double tight end. That was a tight end on motion. Catalyst. And a first down for Michigan going to the right side. Rogers the tailback. Garrett the fullback in behind Hall. First and ten. Flag goes down. And again, using the tight end, Sim Nelson. Complete. But a flag down. And location that flag back at the 25-yard line. Could be in the Michigan backfield. Ray, the penalty on Washington State, not Michigan. Headlines but making that call and moving the ball inside the 10-yard line. The ball at the 6-yard line, second and goal. Same running backs again, Garrett Rogers. And Hall going to the air, nobody around. And touchdown to Michigan, coming out of the backfield to make the catch. Eddie Garrett, the fullback. Great call for the defense. Washington State was in. The Cougars were in a defense where they were firing both inside linebackers, and it was a play-action fake towards the outside. Normally on a play like that, Eddie Garrett, the fullback, will be kicking out on the end. Again, Ray, the pass play is David Hall's favorite. He threw two of these in the Rose Bowl. You can see Garrett start out. There's nobody to cover him. Everybody's caught up inside looking for the run. Garrett comes wide open in the flat. Michigan leading Washington State 7 to nothing here in the first quarter. 10-13 to play. First and 10 for the Wolverines at their own 22-yard line. And trying to get outside and does as Rogers. Rogers turns the corner, gets to the 34 before being driven out of bounds. Moving up quickly was Rico Tipton of Washington State to drive him out of bounds. Over on that wing back was Rogers. He carries again now, trying to get outside. Does gets across the 40 yard line to the 41. And Ben Carrillo, the strong side linebacker, coming up to do a one on one on him. So it's third and 13 at the 45 for the Wolverines. And Hall wanting to go to the air. Had a man over the middle, but he was almost tackled. Now will carry. 45, 43 yard line of Washington State. In there to greet him was Gerard Waters to make the first hit on him. Moving in quickly also the cornerback, Cedric Brown. This will be the ninth play of the drive for Michigan. Rogers going outside. He looked a little hesitant there as if he wanted to go against the green once he got outside. Then he elected to stay with the slant. Got inside the 35-yard line. Tripped up by Carrillo. Oh, they're going to be an awfully good football team. First of 19 at the Cougars' 39-yard line. That is Rice in the wing-back position on the right side. One lone running back in behind Hall. And trying to pass on it. He had a man open and interception. It could go all the way. Could go all the way as Joe Taylor. Strong side safety. Took it off the fingertips of Sim Nelson, the tight end. And races down for the Cougars for their first score, going 62 yards. Ball back at their 15-yard line now. It'll be first down and 15 for Washington State. Ricky Turner, the quarterback. LaBaum is in there. One of the running back positions may the other one. And a long count this time by the Cougars. That was the option. Fumble and recovered Michigan. 
Still scrambling around, and Michigan still has it on the second try. And coming up with that ball may have been Al Sensich, the nose guard. Hoping that they can turn around, a mistake by Washington State, and take it in for a score. First and 10 at the 12-yard line. Smith on the carry. Gary Smith inside the 10, close to the 8-yard line. You know, we talk about the quarterbacks. Hall not regarded as far as a runner. He is 3, 27 yards on the carry. Turner, who's a runner, is 3 for a minus 13 from Washington State. Rodgers outside. He goes in to score. Starting from the 8-yard line. It was 2nd and 6. And he goes 8 yards for Michigan's second afternoon of the touchdown. A lot of credit should go to both tight ends, especially number 83, Milt Parsons, you see running back to the huddle. He had to get a linebacker and log him inside and sustain it because the outside man came up and forced Rodgers back inside, and Parsons got the inside linebacker and did not let him get outside, and that really opened it up to the end zone for Rodgers. It's a straight slant play given to the fullback, or tailback. The fullback kicks out. Now Rodgers goes inside. Now watch 83. There he is right there, holding on. He makes a good block on that linebacker, sustaining it from the snap of the ball, and that was what freed Rodgers to go into the end zone. The Wolverines have taken a 14-7 lead with 8.44 left to go in the first half. Now it forces them into the field goal, so Michigan will retain the lead if they even make the field goal. John Trott will be the man to try for the field goal last week against Montana State. He was two for two, one for 31 yards, another one for 24. He'll try this one from 33 yards up. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So with one minute and 11 seconds to go in the third quarter, Michigan's lead is cut now to 14 to 10. We get back into it. Second and eight for Washington State. Mays now, carry eight carries and 31 yards. Turner getting plenty of time, scampering, finds the man open, and he hits it for the first down. That might have been Jamie White that hauled it in. It was the tight end, Jamie White, Mays, and LaBomb, the running backs. And it's Mays on the carry, goes through, slanting to the right side. Touchdown, Washington State. And the first time this afternoon, the Cougars have been in front in this ball game. So all of a sudden, with 9.42 to go in this ball game, Michigan trailing 17 to 14. And there you saw the touchdown. You saw how Turner backed out, and it looked like they were going on that option. All of a sudden, he turned back, handed it to the running back. Washington State's got a lead by three. Only one yard on that carry. All the pass. A little swing pass out to the right side, completed. This is to Rodgers. First down, a knock out of bounds. And he gets across the 35-yard line. That's Rice in motion. Rodgers on the pitch to him. Cuts inside to the 40, 45. He may go all the way. Got one man to beat to the 30. Beats him to the 20. And is brought down inside the 10-yard line. Coming up from behind Cedric Brown for the save and tackle. 52 yards on the carry. Rick Rogers does a great job of running here. Almost broke it all the way as he could have gotten a block. The block on the corner by the fullback. Rogers makes a good cut inside. And then he gets another great block by Steve Johnson outside. He's able to cut back. Here's a great cut back here. Forcing a guy to miss. And if Vince Bean can just get over there and knock Cedric Taylor down, they got a touchdown. But Vince did a good job not throwing and avoiding the clip call. First and 10, just outside the 10-yard line. Price carries inside the five. Got a couple of good blocks from that forward wall and drove to inside the Washington State five-yard line. Three running backs in there with Rice at fullback. Rogers the tailback. Armstrong in motion. Fake handoff. Hall carries. Touchdown, Michigan! And they do it with the option. Dave Hall came down the line of scrimmage. Washington State expecting Michigan to go inside or run that fullback with the fullback going in motion to the strength, running the other way. Michigan comes back with the I formation, running the option to the weak side. There was nobody over there to take it. Show play now, the try for the extra point. Up and no good. Wide, no good. No flags on the field. 
So with 6-10 to go, Michigan leads 2017. The beauty of the play, the motion takes the formation and strength the other way. There's nobody outside to the short side of the field. David Hall goes in easily with the action play, and Michigan, despite missing the extra point, and it's a big one, still has the lead by three. Mays has carried 11 times, 36 yards. That's Mays in motion. Turner going back to pass. And going down the sideline. Juggling a complete Mays with a great reception. Had three chances and capitalized on the third one. First and ten for Washington State at the Michigan 33-yard line. 3.29 to play. Turner on the option. He keeps it. Gets back inside. Breaks a tackle and slides down inside the Michigan 20-yard line. And making a stop on him was Rich Hewitt. Ricky Turner, the quarterback. And rolling out. Trying to find somebody in the opening. And couldn't do it. He had a man open, a running back, and it was Porter in the end zone. Didn't spot him. Scaricelli out of Warren, Michigan, getting a little baptism. Quick look and pass. And the intended receiver a little bit slow getting to where he was supposed to go. And Turner rushed by good thrust by the Michigan defense. But the receiver's on the left side. The lone back is Mays in motion off to the left at the Michigan 21-yard line. And it was Rippin who checked into the lineup. He could not find the receiver, and it's incomplete. Well, John Trott is in there to attempt to tie up this ball game. Kicking comes from about 37 yards out, and he misses! So Michigan's defense holds, and Top is missing on the field goal, and Michigan continues to lead this ball game. 20 to 17. Michigan has opened up the 1983 football season with a very tough battle against Washington State, winning 20 to 17, Jim. I think a lot tougher than a lot of people expected. Uh, the Michigan coaches all week long talked about the great defense Washington State had. I don't know how many people believe them, but it was clear today that the Cougars can play defense, and they all will be a factor in the in the Pac-10 conference. And Michigan escaped here with their lives. Final wrap-up in just a moment.